Welcome, welcome to another episode of Jangnan, and this time, like some, uh, um, like a new player guide a little bit. Um, of course, I will explain uh, uh, current events and stuff like that. But uh, actually, someone asked a question uh, about uh, like uh, raising prosperity level, and we will tackle that a little bit. But first things first. Uh, the events that are currently going on we have like the main story event which is uh, quite complex basically you have to hunt down um, some thieves and uh, stuff like that and uh, um, I actually got the idler of the princess here already um, you have to uh, like do some uh, plot twist in Suzhou we have here like um, buying for like 99 uh, uh, dollar cents, um, like all three of those. You, uh, if you, that is why I spent them twice to get like um, uh, two of the line statues. I think that's a good deal. Like for one dollar free, like decorational building, it's okay. We have here now a friendship point spending event. Basically the same as always. You uh, start with zero and you have to spend more and more friendship points to get the rewards. If you spend all those, you get uh, like a special box. I think there are flowers in it. So I actually now have what, like 1,600 friendship points. So let's do this. I got the Moonstone, I think is the official name. And now this one boxes i w actually wonder what's in it um, bum, 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 bum. let's open them oh nice like flower pots that are not flower pots and one more let's open it nice ah oh, that will that will be good good stuff so um we have here like uh time in uh, spending in playing the game like being locked in it's enough to be locked in uh, you don't have actually to uh, actively play but those are the minutes like one minute after 10 minutes 13 minutes 60 minutes and so on and so on oh small rewards but why not we feel like the animated tree with the swing and like 10 wishes and 300 moonstones for $10. Eh, not gonna buy it. We have here. Now that is quite interesting. Um, I think I will actually go in full on for like the Buddhist temple that I will build. Um, here we have like moonstones, a thing in the drops. Actually, you can buy this character for like the pity currency now. Um, I already have her, um, so I don't need it. Uh, and like Peach Village. But what we will do today is like how to raise prosperity level, like gaining more like houses, more people and you get prosperity level through buildings through like uh, um decorational buildings you get them through trees so technically speaking those are prosperity level points technically speaking you can like just plant uh, shitloads of uh, trees and uh, uh, be good with it also, prosperity levels, you get a lot of uh, from uh, flowers, like quite a lot. You get them, of course, from those buildings. And as you can see here, those are the free to play buildings. Those are, are the one with the uh, premium currency with the moonstone. And as you can see, you don't really need to spend it. I, uh, I am actually like very sure you can free to play it. Like uh, as you can see here. I just bought like one for 200 uh, um, stones. It's actually like here. Um, 
just uh, because like I think it will fit quite nicely in the Buddhist temple area that I will build here. So those are the buildings. Now the thing is some levels are locked behind the upgrade of the government building, the big red one. Like, let's go to Songjiang, I think. So you need to upgrade here, this one. And what is like the requirement for it? I actually need like six buildings, six houses of level three and more. Like this is level two. This is level two. Uh, do I actually have a level three already? Oh. Or is it? Uh, I'm not so sure about myself either. Um, the thing is what you need for like, I can't remember. Here for this one, uh, for like uh, um, uh, the first city, your capital city, you actually need like to upgrade your houses to level three and more. You need uh, like um, uh, furniture uh, houses, uh, like uh, those, uh, those ones, the one that sell furniture. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, this one, paper seller, I think, or uh, like uh, one or uh, just like build two of each. And I think that actually unlocks the ability to level up um, the houses further, which is important. When you have like six level three, build, uh, level three like houses, you can then further upgrade your government level, uh, your government house, which further unlocks like um, those prosperity buildings. So that's the cycle. And then as you can see here, like we have like for 240, 200 prosperity levels. That's a lot of points. Like. You don't need to... This game is perfectly fine with being free to play. I'm 100% I'm sure of it. Um, so, that, that those are the... Uh, um, ah, brain. Work, brain. Like, those are the possibilities to raise the prosperity level. Um, uh, through the free to play buildings, through trees, and through, like, uh, flower pots. And you get flower pots quite a lot uh, through like uh, um the bashing of uh, thieves and other outlaws that you capture so that should be actually enough um yeah uh, don't don't spend money on the game unless like really really nice buildings that you actually enjoy especially because like those buildings, they are on discount quite often. Like, uh, actually, there's always one building type on discount. For example, uh, currently, it's this pagoda. Like, this pagoda is usually, uh, like, I think, 600. Now, it's, uh, like, 490. Like, yeah. If you want uh, to uh, spend money on the game, um, there are some uh, like spending uh, events like, for example, uh, yeah, this one, for example, uh, like uh, if uh, there is like some kind of event with a really nice building that you would love to have, then okay. Um, if you have the, the um, money available, why not? Um, uh, you get you get quite some uh, things out of the deal, like um, then like a nice building, something like that. Uh, but if you don't want to 
D just don't. Like, uh, you, most of the buildings here you can see, like, it's all free to play. Like, um, this I got uh, from the uh, big pagoda I got from the completion of the quest tree in uh, Suzhou, like the second city. Um, this is just a normal building that uh, you can build with like tea. Um, so yeah, you uh, get more than enough like uh, gems to uh, like from uh, just doing your dailies and like participating in events. Like uh, perfectly fine, uh, uh, free to play. Now, how to unlock? your second city, how to unlock Suzhou. Uh, it's this city here. You, uh, this is your like quest building, your carriage you will pick up. Now let me check, I think it's in the last village. Um, blah, 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 blah. Was it here? I think so. Like in the last village, um, there ah go away stupid fog yes uh, it was in the last village uh, there you have like this pier here like uh, this har harbor is a little bit uh, too much but uh, like this uh, this uh, pier and if you complete like uh, the quest and uh, you have a certain level i forgot which one it was you can actually like talk uh, to uh, the harbor guy that stood here and then you will unlock the, your second city. The same uh, way you unlock uh, the other cities, uh, like the th uh, third city, uh, like Hangzhou, you unlock in Suzhou and so forth uh, and so forth. Now I will shortly check if it was like is there here a harbor and a harbor 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 no 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 yeah it was it was in the last village uh, in uh, the capital quest tree ah Last checkup. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, in the third village. Like, if you successfully quest uh, enough, then you go to this village, and here you can unlock Sujo. Now, how do you raise level? Now, the main way to raise your level is just through playing uh, honestly like you get a lot of experience points by upgrading your buildings uh, like no matter what building you upgrade you get experience points uh, and and you get uh, like experience points through like just assigning workers uh, to buildings and after they complete uh, like uh, activity, uh, for example, money or something like that, they, uh, I, or is it money or is it just like, um, actually let's, do we have, like, I think it's uh, only like production buildings. I don't think money buildings generate that much experience, if at all. Oh, let's check it here. Three minutes. So yeah, uh, that is how you generate uh, like experience points. Now we wait for someone to come to tilt the field. There she goes. Can someone finally get here? Ah, there she goes. All the way. So, now we wait. Three minutes, no problem. Like, um, I unlocked, uh, like, uh, this time. 
Oh yes, also from exploration, like unlocking new tiles will generate a lot of experience points like for this. But I unlocked like finally this island and I think I will make a separate video with just me building like the Buddhist temple complex that I plan to build here. Um, so yeah, uh, let's just like put someone into money production, like, uh, let's see about like, um, bum, 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 like this golden silk, well, I don't even know what it is, tapestry maybe or something like that, I can create some more. Like this character I uh, now used, uh, um, is, she's so good. Like this one. Actually, let's check about Neymar. What? Because what he does is he uh, he immediately uh, like produces the resource like you uh, want. You assigned uh, him to a uh, production building and he immediately generates uh, the resource. Like, really powerful. Um, like, name first. Who are you? Dong Kui Chang? Okay, Dong Kui Chang. Okay, Ming Dynasty, Painter, Calligraph Master. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, boom, 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 boom. 39 seconds. So yeah, really powerful character. Use, uh, he's fairly easily obtainable, I think, through the standard banner. Oh, bum, 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 bum. 18 seconds to go. Oh, the wait. I'm so excited. So. And as you can see, also like free experience points, which is like nothing but like, um, yeah, it's just that I wanted to show you uh, when you produce things, you get experience points. Uh, when you build things, you get experience points. When you upgrade the things, you get experience points. And uh, when you like discover new tiles, you get experience points. Um, I hope that will help somewhat. If there are questions, just ask them. I try to answer them as best as I can and um, yeah happy building uh, have fun with the game and um, yeah I will by the way upload um, maybe today maybe tomorrow like another video like uh, with me just building the temple complex so um, I think this is also quite enjoyable so yeah um, see you around